Unit Ten, News Watch, April sixteenth. Potato cutlery, cutting out single-use plastics. A student from Sweden's Lund University has created an alternative to single-use plastic products by using potato starch. Industrial design student Pontus Tornqvist sought to target the fast food industry, which is a large consumer of plastic cutlery due to the material's convenience and strength. These plastics are only used once. But then take centuries to break down. With millions of them going to landfills and the ocean every day, their effect is devastating to the environment. Tornqvist decided to look at the various forms that plant-based plastics could take, and settled on using potato starch. When mixed with water and poured into a mold, the starch dries to a plastic-like consistency. After use. It can be thrown away and will decompose in soil within two months, sending nutrients back to the earth. The unique properties of starch mean that this type of cutlery doesn't have to be made from potatoes alone. Any starchy material could work. Though potato plastic began as a student project, Tornquist hopes to see it through and begin professional production soon. South African students code their way to a better future. Technology's influence on our lives means that having knowledge of it is necessary for a secure future. This is the idea behind South Africa's coding clubs. Though apartheid ended in the country 25 years ago, the quality of education in some regions has not yet caught up. Currently. South Africa lags behind other countries in math and science. Non-governmental organizations like Code Jika and We Think Code aim to close the gap by offering free coding clubs for elementary school students. In these clubs, students use coding blocks, circuit boards, and other tools in order to solve real-life problems. Student teams have come up with devices like incubators. For premature babies, as well as tracking accessories to help find missing children, teachers hope these clubs can help students feel empowered, and that the skills they gain can help them find employment in the future. The popularity of these clubs is also growing in other African countries, such as Kenya and Botswana. Thanks to the unique opportunities these clubs provide, the next generation of technological innovators. May be coming out of Africa.